Bar shards are useful to show complex data in them, and we will use FL shard plugin for doing this bar shard. We will create this data here with some values from Monday to Sunday, and then you have here some dummy data inside, and you can also choose the color of your different bars and so on. And I will also go completely inside what you can do for modifications here inside to get your own custom style. To get started, we have here already this card. So this is a basic card widget and with some shape and color. And then we want to go here into our bar chart widget and create actually the bar. And to get started, you go first of all into your PathSpec JAML file and add this FL chart under your dependencies inside. Now here back in the bar shard widget, we first of all create the bar shard. This comes from the plugin itself and inside of it we need to put a bar shard data and then we can set some alignment and we also set here the max y coordinate and the min y coordinate. And you can later see that it is going maximal to 20 then and minimal to minus 20. So this is the maximum what we are showing here. and. You have later some group space. I will show you later exactly what this is about. Then we can also add here this bar touch data. So if you later interact with the bars, you can see some data of it and we enable it. And now comes the interesting part to actually show the data. So we add here this field bar groups and inside of it, we add some bar data. So I have already defined this data and here I have created a new data class with all these properties which we later need. But basically the most important data is the Y coordinate and this will later show where our data is and uh, we can also set a color and a name for this, but this is not that important. And like you can see, I have here added some different values and you will later see them in the bar. And now here back in our bar chart widget, we create first of all a bar chart group data and here we put some X coordinate for our ID inside and this is basically an incremental data. So if we go here to this bar data, you see that we have ID 0, ID 1, ID 2 and so on. So it's always incremental. And then we add here some bar rods. I will later exactly show you what is the difference between a group and a rod. And here inside we put this bar chart rod data inside and now we put here the data inside which should show in a bar and here we add uh, the y coordinate the width of the bar and also some color and also a radius and i think we can show them already so these are our bars and this is basically this data here what is going here inside to show a bar we also can have bar groups which means that we have multiple bars near together so if I create here bar groups, you see that these values get closer together and here's some space which you can also put between these values, between these groups. However, we want to have individual data and therefore we don't use here multiple uh, objects inside. So I will delete this one again. And what you see right now is that we have here also this border radius to the top. So we added here a circular rounded to the top only. And maybe if the value is lower than zero, then we want to show it in the other direction instead of this direction. And therefore we add here this data y greater than zero. If that's the case, then we want to show these here at the top. And if it's not the case, if it's lower than zero, then we want to show them at the bottom left and bottom right corner. And now if I update this, you see that we have these rounded features at the bottom. And if it's greater than zero, this value, then it is at the top. If we put again here a second data inside so that we have again the group, and then you have the possibility to add here some bar space between. So for example, you add here a small bar space so this is the space between these bars. And then you see that we have here a different space and you can even increase it if you like. However, we are not working here with two bars next to each other. Therefore, I'm deleting this again. I only wanted to show you that you exactly know how this can be modified. And if we right now look at the result design, then we see it is missing something. So we show already the data, it's fine. But what is missing is that we not show here the text at the left and right and top and bottom and that's what we want to change right now. 
And by the way, if you want to get the whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link in the description, you can get my Flutter course where I show you how you can become more efficient with Flutter. To add these titles, we go here again and create a new property, which is called titles data. And here inside we create for every direction a title. So we call here top titles, bottom titles. So top titles are shown here, bottom titles are shown here. Then we have left titles and also here right titles. And we create a new class to get all of these titles. And here inside of this class, we first of all create a new method, get top and bottom titles. And here we create the site titles object, which also comes from this plugin. And here inside, we first of all need to set the show titles to true so that we can show actually the titles. And after it, we have here the style of our titles, which we set, and we set it to white color and some font size. So this will be the white color later here, like you can see. And then actually we set the titles. And what we actually want to do is not to show here an ID at the top. We want to show actually the name. And therefore we convert this ID, which we get here from this site titles to a name. And this is what we do here with our bar data. So we search here for the ID in our data. And if that's the ID found, then we want to get the name because basically he's trying always to show here the ID first, but we want to get here the name instead. And then we also want to add a margin. I will later show you exactly what this margin is doing. And we also want to create the second method, which is for the sites here on the left and right. And here we create again the site titles object, put again show titles inside, and define again the text style of these text on the site. And then we can set here an interval. So this is the interval our data is later showing. And this interval is set to five. So we want to show them every 5,000 points. We want to show like the data. And we can also later modify this value interval to see exactly what is changing. And then we need to set here the titles. And this is the value which we get. So this is basically the value here out of our data and this y value. So we get here, for example, 15 or minus 12 or something. And this is exactly here, this value. And what we want to do is we want to show after this value a k. So we want to change it that it actually says, okay, this is uh, 12,000 and not only 12. And if I hot restart it right now, you already see like this here. And you see that we have here with this uh, top bottom titles already here, this name showing, which we have defined here in our titles. And we also show here the numbers with the K after it. So these are the numbers which we have defined. And we show here an interval of five. So we show here five intervals between. And I also can change here this interval to show you exactly what this interval is doing. And now if I hot restart, you see that we have always 3000 between, not 5000. And basically you can then define here how many thousand you want to have between each data. I like it if it is like this. And you can always go into your data and change here the data sets if you want to, for example, not have here 15,000, you want to have, let's say 5,000, then you simply exchange it here. And then it also, if you hot restart, will show here at 5,000. And you can also define here the, obviously the color every time and where it should show on Monday. And so you can define here your individual data inside. I will put it back to 15,000. And now we go here back to our bar titles and add here other fields and look exactly what they are doing. Now we modify here also the title because we don't want to show here for the zero a K every time after it. So you can decide here, okay, if the value is zero, then we want to show actually zero and not a K after it. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here zero showing. We can also rotate our text. Therefore we take here this rotate angel. And now the side titles will be rotated by 90 degrees. So if you look right now, these are all rotated. And basically you can define here also other values, for example, 45 degrees, then it is rotated by 45 degrees. Then we also can add here some margin inside and some reserved size. And this is really important if you want to have here some space for these titles. 
and if I now hot reload you will see what I mean. So we see have here some space to the left and you can basically add here more space or less space how you want your bar to look like. And here I want to say that you can modify this max y and min y. So if you change it here for example to 30 then you will see that we have here until 30. You can also change it to 100 and then the dimensions will change here and uh, I set it again to 20 and the same for minus. If you go here into min minus 100 then all here at the bottom will be minus 100. And you can also add here the space between these different bars which you have. So I have set it to 12 but you can also make it for example to 0. Then you have no space between these bars. And now we also can add here some lines between. So what you see here is that we have no lines and we want to add here some lines. And therefore you add here this property grid data. And here inside we first of all need to decide when should be this horizontal line showing. And it should show every time. And we define it here with our bar data interval. Um, that every 5000 it will show like this um, line. So it will always show here, here and here. And with this value you can later change it if you want to change also the grid that it is showing in another dimension. And then you need to define here your line, how it should look like. So you can add here this FL line and then you can set a color for the line. You can set a, a width, a stroke width. And now you see if I hot reload here that we have here this line already. And you can basically change it if you want to have a higher value then you can set a really high value like this and um, it's all up to you. And you also can change the color obviously. And what we want to do is we also want to add here some values for the zero axis and therefore I add here another case. So if the value is zero then we want to increase the stroke width so that we see here a line which is thicker. So let's try this out. And now you see that we have here a better line, so it's showing more properly and we can actually see what's going on there. And now we are already done with this example. I quickly want to show you exactly that you also can change here, for example, these values, the rotation. So you can also change here, for example, to 45 degrees, then it is changing. And I also wanted to show you quickly that you can also go to your data, to your bar data. And here you can change the intervals, for example, to 10. And then also the lines will change. So if I now hot restart, you see that the lines will also show here every time exactly with this number. And they will also show here at the interval of 10 instead of 5. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.